ஹாய் ஒருவன் வெல்கம் பேக் டு அவர் இவி சேனல் இந்த ப்ரீவியஸ் வீடியோ வி ஹாவ் பின் அண்டர்ஸ்டுட் அபவுட் தி கான்ஃபிகுரேஷன் ஆஃப் சீரீஸ் ஹைப்ரிட் எலக்ட்ரிக் டவ் ட்ரெயின் நவ் லெட் எஸ் ட்ரை டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் தி டிஃப்ரெண்ட் டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் தி ஸ்ட்ராட்டஜிஸ் ஓகே விச் இஸ் நத்திங் பட் பேட்டர்ன்ஸ் ஓகே லெட்ஸ் ட்ரை டு சி வித் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் கலர் யூ கேன் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் பெட்டர் ஃபஸ்ட் மோட் ஆஃப் பேட்டர்ன் ஆர் விச் இஸ் நத்திங் பட் தி ஃபஸ்ட் mode of operation is nothing but uh, hot flow pattern is nothing but pure electric drive train mode okay so pure electric only electric mode it will operate pure electric uh, traction mode only pure electric traction mode pattern second one is uh, pure engine only engine pure engine traction mode so let's try to see here uh, where is this pure electric so pure electric means the power flow is like this so let us assume that uh, this is power train 1 so this is completely power train 1 this i am assuming it as a uh, power train 2 <coughs> and this i am assuming it as a uh, load so now what are the different power flow patterns so first one is pure electric pure electric means the power flow is uh, in this original shown black color line so battery get discharged goes to the dc to dc chopper goes to the motor goes to the motor controller through motor and this is purely electric this is the first mode of operation second mode of operation is pure engine so this doesn't plays a much major role and the power flows from fuel tank fuel tank to engine engine to generator generator to rectifier and then it take the help of battery and from this battery it directly goes only engine is operated so this is the first mode which makes the electric vehicle to drive the second mode is the battery discharges goes to the motor and goes to the traction so here also indirectly the same only but uh, engine will propel the generator and generator will pump the energy to the battery and the motor controller will travel so these are the two patterns what we have been understood third pattern is a hybrid traction mode hybrid traction mode the name itself is saying the vehicle need to travel to an high gradient which is having an positive slope it has to climb some sort of a guard road then it take the help of a first pattern as well as second pattern so first pattern is what so power train 1 so power train 1 it goes to the load power train 2 also it goes to the load here engine is also operated as well as uh, the second power train to which is nothing but battery discharges and can give the power to the motor controller then required amount of current is applied to the motor so power train 1 to load power train 2 to load which is called as a hybrid traction mode this is useful when you use our electric vehicle in when you have in uh, guard roads okay so next one is a uh, fourth mode of operation is nothing but uh, engine traction with battery charging mode so engine traction battery charging mode you can see here so the fourth mode of operation is a uh, engine traction so engine is used here engine with battery charging mode so battery gets charged battery charging mode is indirectly what so power train 1 is nothing but uh, engine will try to pro- propel the generator and it converts into dc and now our electric vehicle is getting charged i mean the battery is getting charged so the power flows from power train 1 to power train 2 so in the arrow mark what i am showing it flows from fuel tank to engine engine to generator generator to rectifier and it goes to the battery this called engine traction with battery charging mode so coming to the fifth mode so fifth mode is nothing but regenerative power mode or regenerative braking mode regenerative mode or regenerative braking mode so here in this is nothing but fifth pattern so fifth pattern so this electric vehicle is trying to move in an negative slope and is try trying to move in an guard road which has negative slope let us assume this is uh, tirumala and this is uh, tirupati 
when you travel to this negative slope this motor will now try to act like an generator and you will send the power to the motor controller and the power flows like this and now our battery is getting charged so in this pattern our battery gets charged from the regenerative mode of operation so this motor will act like an generator go to the motor controller it goes to the dc to dc chopping action and the battery gets charged where this is nothing but the regenerative way of charging an battery so coming to the next mode battery charging mode so this is also sixth one is battery charging mode so battery charging mode is uh, engine and generator is operated only to charge the battery okay so this what did you studied in this fourth mode so this also will fourth mode plus fifth mode will be equal to sixth mode i mean your engine also will charge the battery as well as this motor also will charge the battery when near the battery is 100% less this is called battery charging mode this is called as a uh, combination of a fourth mode as well as fifth mode where this is called as a hybrid charging mode hybrid charging i mean, I mean the battery is completely dull which is called hybrid charging mode which is nothing but a sixth mode so here the battery gets charged from power train 1 to load i mean battery and load to battery next mode is uh, this is called hybrid charging mode like this we have multiple modes first mode is pure electric so pure electric means battery chopper motor controller to the battery is called first mode this is what i have been shown here this is the first mode second mode is directly this is the second mode only electric so combination of this will use for hybrid traction mode fourth mode is uh, engine charging the battery so engine only will charge the battery fifth mode is uh, regenerative braking charges the battery sixth mode is uh, hybrid both will charge the battery so there are some other modes uh, so first this will try to send to the motor and when you apply the brake automatically the power comes to here which is called as a seventh mode also okay so first the engine will try to propel the motor and the motor is trying to run in a positive slope and whenever you come in the negative slope automatically this motor will act like a generator this is nothing but uh, the power flow is the seventh mode you may experience is it depends upon the vehicle so it try to flow from power train one to load and load to power train to i mean engine is trying to propel the load and now load when it's up this is in a positive slope and this is in negative slope load here this motor will try to act like a generator and it will try to move the power train to these are different modes of operation or different patterns of power flow so feel that you are able to understand series hybrid electric vehicle drive train configuration and different parts and different power flows pattern so totally we have seven power flow patterns if you feel this video is useful please like the video and share with your friends and subscribe the channel so thank you for watching so more updates on the electric vehicle will be available on the channel all this content is mostly useful for uh, the students those are studying this uh, final year hybrid electric vehicle thank you for watching